It's being called the greenest car in the world, and it's from right here in Manitoba. It's called the Irby and has been featured in Car and Driver and Wired magazines. CTV's Jill Makashan shows you how the invention is driving a whole lot of excitement. For 15 years, Jim Cor has held fast to one belief. Our full-sized fuel-reliant society will ultimately buy smaller and smarter. In this warehouse, his dream has taken shape. Winnipeg uh, is a bit of a unique place that we have, you know, incredibly cold winters, incredibly hot summers. We tend to think that we get this working in Winnipeg, it'll work almost anywhere. The Irby isn't built with bolts and steel, it's manufactured on a 3D printer, plastic layered on plastic to make a body that is both lightweight and strong. The first prototype unveiled two years ago proved the car is a contender when it comes to green technology. There are those who say the second prototype, Irby 2, could be the car of the future. Anyone can drive, you move your family around, move it safely, and, uh, and do so in a, in a very environmentally uh, friendly manner. The newer model is expected to reach speeds of 110 kilometers per hour. It'll be even more fuel efficient than the first. The Irby team plans to drive from San Francisco to New York about 4,600 kilometers on 38 liters of ethanol. <laughs> yeah, so this is, uh, this is 10 gallons. But the prototype is a work in progress. Core and the rest of his team still have day jobs. Despite renewed media interest in the vehicle, the Irby project is not funded by big government or big investors, which is slowing big plans. We need to have a change globally. This transportation expert says the Irby is a good idea, a necessary one, but there's no rush. He says Canadian consumers aren't quite ready for this small or this sensible quite yet. If we start uh, regulating how much fuel can be consumed, uh, this car is going to look a lot better. It may take two years before the next working model is unveiled, but for a man who spent so many years building it, the only future he sees is one with Irby in it. Jill Makashan, CTV News, Winnipeg.